हेलो चैम्स गुड इवनिंग आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन कैन यू हियर मी प्रॉपरली कैन यू हियर मी प्रॉपरली इज एम आई प्रॉपरली विजिबल टू यू okay students have already joined very good evening very good evening uh, ray r ray yes good evening beta good evening uh, sarita mahanti is okay sarita is also there okay fine kritika premjit ghosh is there om prakash uh, om prakash is there okay fine 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 i hope you all are fine so without wasting time let's start then and before that let me tell you one thing that you have to answer as fast as possible okay if you take less time to answer then it will be benefit beneficial to you okay so to join to join uh, to join you have to use the code 8080 you have to go to www.menti.com and you have to use the code Eight zero eight zero three four seven nine. Okay, so let me wait. Let me wait. Seventy three students uh, have uh, have joined in the chat box, but only twenty students have joined the menti. So I'm waiting for you. Please join fast. The code is there. The code is there. Okay, eight zero eight zero three four seven nine. we will discuss about uh, not about 25 questions are there okay and for every question i will give you 40 seconds only 40 seconds will be there yes solanki beta yes good evening very good evening hardly 1 hour or 1 hour and 50 minutes maximum 25 questions ramesh 25 questions okay so 41 41 students have joined 42 okay let me wait for some time yes uh, nista okay nista yes hi beta hi hi okay 46 students just a minute just a minute okay ramesh thank you so much thank you so much for your compliment thank you and uh, let me tell you one thing that uh, the lectures the normal lectures which are given to you provided to you you please watch this like uh, those lectures honestly okay that will be very very helpful for your neat exam Sangeeta Gupta. Okay, fine, fine. So, sixty-three students. They have joined. They have joined. Just thirty seconds. We will wait, and then we will start again. Okay. Let me tell you how to join. You have to go to the www. menti. com website. Then use the code eight zero eight zero three four seven nine. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. So, eighty students, eighty-one students. They have already joined. So, let's get started then. Okay, so let's get started then. So uh, the stu the players have joined. Seventy four, seventy five, seventy eight students have joined. Okay, so so this is the first question. This is your first question. We say the concept of omnis cellula cellula regarding cell division was first proposed by. Time starts now. the concept of omnicellular cellula which is also known as principle of cell lineage principle of cell lineage okay 10 seconds very simple question very simple question okay times up times up okay 83 very good very good okay six students they said aristotle no aristotle was not the correct answer Schwann and Sladen, th they were also not correct options. The correct option is Rudolf Virchow. Eighty-three students they have answered correctly. Very good, Sabash, Sabash. Okay, so let's see. Uh, 
the leaderboard okay so venture okay very nice you have secured uh 987 okay very nice very nice aditya uh, pradhan okay i think you are from odisha uh, so you have secured 986 okay so three students four students have secured 98 uh, 986 okay very nice come akmal et clippy rahul okay very nice very nice all all of you you are playing very nicely okay so let's move to the next question then so the question is on your screen which of the following statements about inclusion body is incorrect the options are there The code is 8080-3479. Deepak, 8080-3479. 8 seconds. Quick. Okay. Time's up. Time's up. So 45 students they have answered correctly okay and uh, see when i talk about the inclusion bodies okay they are present in the prokaryotic cells and they are present in the cytoplasm and they do not have any membrane okay so the first option says they are not membrane bound by uh, sorry which is uh, which is incorrect which is incorrect they are membrane bound so this is true statement we have to find out the incorrect statement okay these are involved in ingestion of food particles no this is incorrect the include inclusion bodies they are not associated with any kind of ingestion of food particles so this is incorrect so the answer will be b okay they lie freely in cytoplasm why because they do not have any membrane okay and they basically represent the reserve materials okay so the answer is b now let's check the leaderboard okay fine aditya narayan okay very nice very nice okay ram prasad rahul shruti sneha uh, saloni shani okay sneha anik nandini very nice very nice you all have played very nicely very nicely okay so let's move to the next question then so the third question Select the wrong statement. You have to find out the wrong statement. Okay. Options are there. You have to find out the wrong statement. Okay. Wrong statement. Ten seconds. Three, two, times up. So let's see. Okay, fifty-nine students they have answered correctly. This was very simple question. This was a very very simple question. Okay, twelve students they answered bacterial cell shape. Okay, let me explain this question. See, bacterial cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan. This is this is true statement. This is true statement, okay? Peptidoglycan is also known as murine, which consists of basically some amino acids and the polysaccharide, okay? And the polysaccharide is made up of what? N-acetylmuramic acid and N-acetylglucosamine, okay? So, uh, I, can, I can say, I can say that, I can say the peptidoglycan is made up of what? Two components. What are those? One is peptide part. One is the peptide part okay and the peptide part is basically made up of what amino acids okay that is made up of amino acids and just a minute and it also consists of what polysaccharide it consists of polysaccharide okay and the polysaccharide the polysaccharide is basically called as glycan for polysaccharide which term do you use you use the term glycan okay that means it has glycan polysaccharide part and the peptide part 
two components are there okay and these amino acids th these amino acids are not incorporated by ribosome this is very very important okay those uh, who prepare for who are preparing for kbpy well, let me tell you whenever the process of translation takes place that means whenever there is synthesis of polypeptide chain the amino acids are incorporated by ribosome but in this case these these amino acids which are present in the peptidoglycan they are not incorporated by ribosome very very important okay so this is true statement pili and fimbri they are mainly involved in motility no in bacteria the only structure which is involved in motility that is flagella pili and fimbri they are not at all associated with any kind of motility okay so this is incorrect statement so the answer is b cyanobacteria lacks flagellated cells yes that is absolutely correct okay throughout the life cycle cyanobacteria will not have any kind of flagella okay mycoplasma is a wall less microorganism that is the only prokaryotic cell which does not have any kind of cell wall okay so let's move to the next question oh, before that let me check the leaderboard let us check okay fine aditya narayan okay very nice you are playing well okay Shani Gupta, okay, from Jaunpur, okay, fine, fine. Sneha, Ram Prasad, okay, Nandini, uh, Nitiksha, Nitiksha, Power, the Invisible, Invincible, okay, TK, and Sonam, Tanima, Anik, okay, very nice, very nice students, very nice, my champs, Sabash, okay. So, uh, let's move to the next question then. So here is your fourth question. Which of the following structures is not found in a prokaryotic cell? Which structure is not found in a prokaryotic cell? Time starts now. Very simple question, right? Very simple question. If you have studied well, then all these questions will be very sim simple to you. 15 seconds. Whether the other students, your friends are studying or not, it does not matter. You have to study because you have to become doctors. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, yes. Very nice. 87 students, they have answered right correctly. Okay. 10 students, they said plasma membrane and 9 students, they said mesosome. Okay. Let me tell you. Which structure is not found in prokaryotic cell? Okay, we know in prokaryotes there is no membrane bound organelles. Okay, so there will be no true nucleus, and in true nucleus we have nuclear envelope. In prokaryote we have nucleoid, and that is membraneless, that is naked. So that is why nuclear envelope will be absent. Ribosome will be present, 70s type of ribosome will be present, and plasma membrane is present in all types of cells. Okay, and mesosome is also present. Mesosome is also present. Okay, the question is asking about which structure is not present. Which structure is not present? So the answer will be mesosome. Okay, now, so let's check the leaderboard then. Who is leading? Okay, so. Fine. Aditya, very nice, very nice. Neha, Ram Prasad, Shani, Gupta, okay. Niti, uh, Nitiksha, okay, fine. Power, Nandini, Anik, Tanima, Sarika. Very nice, very nice. You all are doing great. So now, the next question is on your screen. The structures that help some bacteria to attach to the rocks and or host tissues are the structures which are associated with attachment with rocks or the host tissue mesosome hold fast rhizoids fimbri Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Okay, these are very simple questions. Three, two, times up. Times up. Okay. So let's see 
okay 78 students yes very nice you have answered correctly okay rhizoids they are not associated rhizoids are basically root like structures which are found in the gametophyte of both bryophyte and teodophytes okay hold fast these structures are not associated they are associated with what attachment but they are not found in the prokaryotes mesosomes they are not at all associated with any kind of attachment rather they are associated with other functions like they help in replication of dna separation of dna uh, replicated dna molecules and formation of uh, septum okay they help in respiration etc etc so the correct answer is fembry okay so let's check the leader about then okay aditya narayan okay let's see let's see okay fine okay so Aditya, you, you are the fastest one. Congratulations. Still now you are the fastest one. All of you, you, you are play, playing very well. Okay, Nevidita. Okay, uh, for the first time I saw your name. Okay, very nice. You keep on working. Okay, keep on trying. Very nice, very nice. So let's see the next question then. So here is your question. Which one of the following is not an inclusion body found in progress? Not an inclusion body, okay? Not an inclusion body. Eighteen seconds. Eighteen seconds don't answer incorrectly okay think before answering okay time's up time's up so 73 students okay very nice you all are playing very well but still 16 students they said uh, uh, glycogen granule no that is that is that that is an example of what uh inclusion body phosphate granule is also an inclusion body and cyanophacin granule that is also an example of inclusion body but polysome is not an example of inclusion body so you may ask me sir what is polysome polysome right so let me tell you let me tell you what is polysome what is polysome okay so see in case of prokaryotes because this life cycle of the prokaryote or the duration of the lifespan of the prokaryote is very very small that is why the prokaryote has to produce a number of proteins a large number of proteins in a short time period and to achieve this what happens the single mrna the single mrna will get bound to a number of ribosomes okay so suppose this is one ribosome suppose this is one ribosome suppose this is one ribosome what happened just a minute okay suppose this is the first ribosome which had bound at this point and it started moving on this direction suppose this is the five prime end of the mrna and suppose this is the three prime end of the rna this was the first ribosome which had bound okay and this is the suppose this is the second ribosome second ribosome which got bound to the mrna this was the third ribosome okay and all those ribosomes they will bind at this point at the five prime end and they will move towards the three prime end okay so like this they will bind at the five prime end and they will move towards the three prime end so these are the ribosomes what type of ribosomes 70 ribosome and while moving while moving they will produce the mrna so they will produce the polypeptide chain okay so it will produce the just a minute okay so this is the polypeptide chain okay and this is also a polypeptide chain this is also a polypeptide chain this is also a polypeptide chain and this is the polypeptide chain okay so you can see a number of polypeptide chains are synthesized from the single mrna from the single mrna molecule and this complex of a single mrna which is bound with a number of ribosomes 70 type of ribosome is called as polyribosome and, the, and this is the feature of prokaryotes this is a feature of prokaryotes okay so uh, so let's check the leader board then okay let's check let's see sorry
ओके आदित्य वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस सहानी ऑल्सो वेरी नाइस ओके सो यू यू बोथ आर द फास्टेस्ट वन साबाश वेरी गुड साबाश साबाश ओके यू कैन टैप ऑन योर शोल्डर एंड यू कैन से यू कैन से साबाश टू योर सेल्फ ओके सो आदित्य स्नेहा शानी सॉरी नॉट सहानी शानी गुप्ता पावर नितिक्षा सरिका नंदिनी हर्ष ओके हर्ष बघेल यू केम फर्स्ट ओके सॉरी योर नेम केम फर्स्ट यू एंड निवेदिता एंड राम लक्ष्मी ओके वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस सो लेट्स सी लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव नंबर क्वेश्चन तो हियर इज योर क्वेश्चन विच स्ट्रक्चर परफॉर्म्स द फंक्शन ऑफ माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इन बैक्टीरिया माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल फंक्शन इन बैक्टीरिया विच स्ट्रक्चर न्यूक्लियोइड राइबोसोम ओके सेल वॉल एंड मिजोसोम ट्वेंटी फोर सेकेंड्स वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन ओके टाइम्स अप टाइम्स अप तो लेट सी ओके वेरी नाइस सेवेंटी एट स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव एंसर्ड एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्टली ओके वेरी नाइस बट स्टिल सम स्टूडेंट्स दे हैव एंसर्ड इन करेक्टली सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज प्लीज रीड केयरफुली ओके वाइल बिफोर एंसरिंग द क्वेश्चन See, when I talk about mitochondrion, mitochondrion performs a number of functions, and one of the main functions of mitochondrion is to perform respiration. Okay, uh, that is oxidation of various various types of chemicals. Respiration is the main function of mitochondrion, and because in in bacteria there is no mitochondrion, so that is why the function of mitochondrion in bacteria will be carried out by mesosome. Will be carried out by mesosome. okay so the correct answer will be mesosome so let's uh, let's check the leaderboard then who answered the fastest okay uh, aditya you so far you are playing very nicely aditya very nice okay fine fine very nice very nice aditya sneha okay fine very nice very nice you all are playing very well very well okay so let's uh, check the next question then Question number eight of twenty-five. The motile bacteria are able to move by. Almost similar kind of questions we have already discussed. Okay, almost similar kind of questions we have already discussed. Very simple question. Very simple question. Okay, I have not uh, I have not brought any difficult question to you. Only one question is there. and that too was not uh, uh, that that too is not uh, conceptual that is information based question 10 seconds okay abdul tiraj gorav trisha anus okay facts gorav uh, kalam khan okay very nice okay so 92 students you have answered correctly see when i talk about the surface appendages in prokaryote the, there are three types of surface appendages what are those fimbri flagella and pili they are present in case of prokaryote cilia will never be present cilia is present only in case of eukaryote okay and remember one thing the flagella in prokaryote and the flagella in eukaryote they are structurally different the flagella in prokaryote is made up of flagellin protein whereas the flagella in the eukaryote that is made up of tubulin protein microtubules okay and no doubt the prokaryotes they can have fimbri flagella and pili but among these three only the flagella will help in motility of the bacteria so the correct answer will be flagella okay so let's check the leaderboard then ओके स्नेहा आदित्य 
you both are playing very nice okay sarika okay you are the fastest you are the fastest sarika very nice very nice okay uh earthman okay earthman okay very nice very nice you are also mm, playing well okay very nice so uh, let's look at the question number 9 so the question number 9 is on your screen why is a capsule advantageous to a bacterium what is the advan what, what is the advantage of capsule for a bacteria yes darshan hi beta hi 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 mohammad ibrahim arjuna i think you are from arjuna batch okay are you from arjuna batch mohammad mohammad okay a hands shim okay fine you all are playing well okay so the correct answer is it allows bacterium to hide from host immune system see capsule is a glycocalyx and this glycocalyx it lies outer to the cell wall of a bacterium and when if the glycocalyx is thick and tough then that kind that type of uh, glycocalyx is called as capsule and this capsule has different functions one of the functions of capsule is to provide sticky nature and gummy character to the bacteria the second feature of the capsule is to is is to uh, help the bacterium to get uh, to hide from the immune system from our immune system it will help uh, the bacteria to hide the third is it can it can have certain chemicals which will cause the disease that means it it is also responsible for pathogenicity it will cause pathogenicity number one function number two it will help the bacteria to hide from our immune system second third is it will the third function is uh, uh, the third function is what uh, pathogenicity immune system okay so these are the different functions of what capsule these are the different functions of capsule third function was it will provide gummy and sticky character to the bacterial cell okay so it protects the bacterium from desiccation no this function is is uh, not performed by the what uh, by the capsule okay when the desiccation will take place if there is loss of water okay desiccation is basically dryness fine so let's check the leaderboard then why not a and d because capsule why see why not a and d because capsule it does not prevent the loss of water okay and because of loss of water there will be desiccation there will be dryness and because capsule does not prevent the loss of water that is why this is not responsible for prevention of desiccation okay and why not d uh, it allows the bacteria to attach to the surface no the uh, because the capsule will not help the bacteria to get attached the structure which will uh, help in attachment is 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 your what uh, fimbri okay so so okay aditya one second very nice so who was the first fastest to answer okay aditya very nice very nice okay fine fine saurav apurva hitesh very nice very nice earthman you are also playing very nice okay harsh baghel okay very nice you are improving your score very nice very nice okay so now the question number 10 is on your screen the term glycocalyx is used for the term glycocalyx is used for okay hari krishna you are from tamil nadu okay very nice very nice i was also there in tamil nadu not tamil nadu but in, i was in pondicherry x v i r u koi baat nahi beta koi baat nahi koi baat nahi ab try karte raho okay fine 
तो टाइम्स अप टाइम्स अप ओके ए लेयर सराउंडिंग द सेल वॉल ऑफ ए बैक्टीरिया वेरी नाइस ओके तो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द एनवेल ऑफ ए बैक्टीरिया एनवेल मीन्स द कवरिंग ऑफ ए बैक्टीरियम then it has three components which are tightly bound to each other okay and what is the outermost structure or component of the cell and bacterial cell envelope the outermost one is the glycocalyx and the middle one is the cell wall and the innermost one is the plasma membrane so i will say the glycocalyx is the outermost one and it it is outer to what outer to the cell wall so this the answer will be a okay now so let's check the leaderboard then राजस्थानी आई एम पैक्स एंड फैन क्लब ओके राजस्थानी हो ठीक है वेरी नाइस ओके प्रेम जीत यू आर इन ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके वेरी नाइस बेटा वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस ओके सम स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑल्सो फ्रॉम हैदराबाद ओके दट्स ए प्लेस ऑफ प्लेस ऑफ बिरयानी आई वुड लव टू हैव बिरयानी ओके सत्यजीत नमस्कार नमस्कार फाइन so uh, you can see the top scorer is again uh, aditya very nice okay sukriti sukriti okay very nice beta very nice keep on uh, working okay power fastest to answer shani hitesh orthwam okay uh, sorry earthman so very sorry earthman and harsh bagel sadika very nice you all are playing very well very well okay so the question number 11 is on your Screen. Which is the important site for formation of glycoproteins and glycolipids in eukaryotic cell? Which cell eukaryotic cells? Satyajit. Okay, okay. Yes, great fan of PW. Yes, PW is doing a great work. Okay, Darshan, you are from Karnataka, Himachal Pradesh also. Okay, Madhya Pradesh. Various students, uh, students from different states. They have, they have. uh joined okay very nice very nice okay from jaipur also so 10 seconds 10 seconds okay pande very nice beta very nice very nice from jharkhand also students have joined okay the answer is c that is that is golgi complex okay so what is glyco see whenever the prefix glyco is used you have to think of think of carbohydrate okay and and if i say glycoprotein that means the protein is conjugated with sugar molecules carbohydrate okay so let me let me tell you one important point over here if i say if i say if i say if i use two different terms uh okay so suppose if i write glycoprotein and suppose i write proteoglycan proteoglycan okay see both these terms both of, oh shit just a minute proteoglycan okay and glycoprotein in both of these cases in both of these cases protein and carbohydrate are present protein and carbohydrate are present okay whenever i say glycan glycan means polysaccharide glycan means polysaccharide if the glycan or polysaccharide is is made up of glucose we will call that as glucan if it is that is made, made up of mannose that will be called as mannan okay if that is made up of galactose that will be called as uh, galactan okay so in this case protein and glycan means polysaccharide is present that means carbohydrate is present but among between these two which one is the major component it is the carbohydrate glycan is the major component that means carbohydrate is the major component and the minor component is the protein but in the second case here also i have carbohydrate as well as protein but in this case protein is the major component that means the sec uh, the second word is will be the will be the major component and the first one will be the minor component okay and in golgi body what happens see from scr the lipid will be 
transferred to the Golgi body and in the Golgi body the carbohydrate is synthesized and the Golgi body will now add the sugar molecules or carbide to the lipid molecule to form the glycolipid and from RER the proteins will be transferred to the Golgi body at the cis phase and the carbohydrate in the Golgi body will be added to the protein to form the glycoprotein okay so the answer will be Golgi body fine so let's check then uh, leaderboard <laughs> okay Aman Singh okay Aditya okay fastest to answer very nice Harsh Vagel Hitesh Sneha Power Shani Sarla Sarika Sukriti okay very nice very nice you all are playing very well so we have 12th number question Quick info. Chaya beta, chaya okay. Very nice, very nice. Mohammed Ibrahim, you joined late, no problem, but now you can answer. Minal, okay. Hi. Which statement is not correct? Okay, not correct. 15 seconds. Time's up. Not correct statement. Okay. Incorrect statement. Okay. Lysosomes are formed by the process of packaging in the endoplasmic reticulum. No, they are pro they are formed in the Golgi body. The process is packaging, but in the Golgi body. So the answer will be so this will be the incorrect statement. So the answer will be first one. Okay. Lysosomes have numerous hydrolytic enzymes. That is that is true. Okay. Hydrolytic enzymes of the lysosome are active at acidic pH. That is also true. Lysosomes are membrane bound structures. That is also true. So, so let's see the leaderboard. Okay, Apurva beta, very nice, very nice. Fastest to answer this question. Okay, very nice, very nice. So let's move to the next question then. Maharshi, thank you, thank you, thank you. Which of the following statements regarding mitochondria is incorrect? Incorrect regarding mitochondria, okay. Answer fast. Abdul, yes, thank you, thank you. Vivek, Namaste, Namaste. Torav, Namaskar, Namaskar. Okay. So the answer is enzymes, electron enzymes of electron transport are embedded in outer membrane. No. The enzymes of electron electron transport system, they are present in the inner mitochondrial membrane, not outer mitochondrial membrane. Okay. In case of prokaryote, the membrane, the enzymes of the ETAs are present in the plasma membrane. In the plasma membrane. Okay. So the answer is C. Third. Okay. So let's check the leaderboard. Who is leading now? Tushar. Okay. Very nice. Darpan. Genet uh, genetics lover okay very nice okay so the fastest was aditya again okay very nice beta very nice okay tushar darpan very nice you are playing well now 14 number question the short the shorter and longer arms of sub metacentric chrom chromosome are referred to as m and n S M I P N Q Q N P Prakash seventeen seconds. 
वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन दिस इज इंफॉर्मेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन टाइम सब दी वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस सब मेटा सेंट्रिक क्रोमोजोम इट विल हैव टू अन इक्वल आर्म्स वन विल बी लॉन्गर आर्म एंड अनदर विल अनदर वन विल बी शॉर्टर वन ओके एंड द लॉन्गर आर्म इज कॉल्ड इज रेप्रेजेंटेड बाई क्यू and this uh, and this smaller one or this sh shorter one is represented by p okay so the shorter one will be p and the longer one will be q okay so this is one information based question so let's ch check uh and this question was asked in the neat exam okay okay tushar very nice very nice very nice okay you are the fastest to answer this question okay so let's see the next question then which of the following pairs of organelles does not contain dna organelles not containing dna uh by reverend you please visit visit uh, www.menti.com and then use the uh, use the code 8080 okay use eight, uh, use 8080 3479 code okay which is there at the top okay fine fine okay 91 students you answered very correctly very nice see chloroplast it, it has it has dna but vacuole it does not have any dna molecule mitochondria has dna lysosome does not have dna nuclear envelope is not a not an organelle mitochondria has dna molecule nucleus has dna but nuclear envelope will not have dna okay mitochondria has dna lysosome and vacuole both of them will not have any dna molecules okay so let's see who was the fastest to answer this question okay okay sukriti very nice very nice beta very nice sneha apurva darpan harsh vagel okay very nice very nice you all are playing well so let's see the next question 16 number question एक्स वी आर यू ओके ठीक है बेटा ठीक है ठीक है विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू फॉर न्यूक्लियस न्यूक्लियस ट्रू फॉर न्यूक्लियस ओके Three, two, one. Time's up. So, sixty-one students, you have answered correctly. Okay, very nice. Let me explain you this question. Okay, so suppose, suppose this is the nucleus. Suppose this is the nucleus, and suppose this is the chromatin. This is the chromatin. Okay, and this chromatin will have a number of genes over here. So, suppose these are the genes. suppose these are the genes and these genes which are present on the chromatin they are associated with what nucleolus okay and the and these genes will encode the uh, they will uh, they will undergo transcription to form the rrna okay so these they will form the rrna molecules okay which molecule rrna molecules and these rrna molecules will bind with the protein molecules to form the ribosomal subunits okay so i can say this nucleus is the si active site of what rrna formation rrna formation so the answer is d okay so let's see who was the fastest to answer this question uh sort of okay sort of you also came into play earthman darpan harsh vaghel okay power aditya very nice beta very nice very nice tarla okay fine 
ओके सो क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटीन द गोलगी कॉम्प्लेक्स पार्टिसिपेट इन दैट मीन्स द फंक्शन ऑफ गोलगी बॉडी ओके पार्टिसिपेट इज इन पैटी एसिड ब्रेकडाउन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सिक्रेटरी वेसिकल्स रेस्पिरेशन इन बैक्टीरिया एक्टिवेशन ऑफ एमिनो एसिड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स फोर सेकेंड्स टू वन टाइम्स अप टाइम्स अप ओके सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सिक्योरिटी वेसिकल्स वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस बट सम स्टूडेंट्स दे हैव एंसर्ड इन करेक्ट ओके सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू दिस पार्ट वट हैपन्स द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ द गोलगी बॉडी इज टू पैकेज द मेटेरियल्स okay and after packaging the material the materials will be released from the trans phase of golgi body and after releasing the trans uh, mat packaged material from the trans uh, uh, trans phase those particles those par uh, packaged particles they can be targeted to the intracellular targets or they can be re released outside the cell and if they are released outside the cell then i can say the particle is secreted okay so so the function of one of the functions of golgi body is to perform secretion okay and how does this perform secretion it releases vesicles and that vesicle will have some secretory particles and this that vesicle will go and fuse with the plasma membrane and after fusing with the plasma membrane it will release its content outside the cell outside the cell okay so this was the answer now so let's check the leaderboard then okay aditya so far you are uh, doing very well okay so let's see tushar very nice very nice okay sarla saurav harsh baghel sukriti shani okay very nice very nice you all are playing well okay fine so let's see the next question then question number 18 Which of the following events does not occur in the rough endoplasmic reticulum? Not occur in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, not. One student is from Bangladesh. Okay, welcome, welcome. No, this is English channel, so I cannot speak in Hindi. Okay. Times up, times up, times up. Okay, so sixty-eight students, you have answered correctly. See, uh, the proteins which are synthesized are basically polypeptide chains, and the polypeptide chains they are folded by the help of special proteins which are present in the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum (RER), and that special protein is chaperon. Okay, and it will in the in the gol in the endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum. the protein will be added with some sugar molecules that will form that and the process is called as glycosylation and the signal peptide which does not have any role in it in the mature protein that will be cleaved with the help of signal peptidase but the synthesis of phospholipid it will not take place in the rer but it will take place in the ser it will take place in the ser okay and it is asking about what uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum okay and this takes place in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay synthesis of lipid is the function of and smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay one more student uh, very nice very nice uh, debargha sorry if i if i pronounced incorrectly sneha very nice beta you answered this question fastest very nice very nice sabash okay so the question number 19 incorrect match incorrect match okay lambras chromosome diploid in bivalent allosome sex chromosomes submetacentric l shape 
okay and polyton chromosome o site of amphibians this is out uh, out of ncrt but this question was asked in neat exam okay this is from neat ex neat neat paper one student is saying you are from london no don't lie don't lie okay if you are in london if you are in london and if you are watching this then i will say very nice and thank you okay very nice so 34 students you have answered correctly okay where is the options okay no problem no problem see the uh, just a minute what happened just a minute just a minute okay find the option d the option d was talking about polyton chromosome in the o, in the o site of the in the o site okay but polyton chromosomes are not present in the o site in the o site which chromosomes are observed found it is the lamp brush chromosome which chromosome lamp brush chromosome okay so in o site which chromosome chromosomes are found lamp brush chromosome so where do you find the polyton chromosome in this in the salivary gland cells of the insects like drosophila okay or chironomus so the answer will be d so let's see who answered this correctly okay and fastest okay shani beta very nice beta very nice very nice okay so very nice you are also playing well darpan debagra okay very nice so let's this is question number 20 Question number twenty: Which of the following cell organelles is responsible for extracting energy from carbohydrates to form ATP? That means from carbohydrate it will extract the energy and it will form the ATP. Very simple question. Very simple question. Five, four, three, two, one. Times up. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Hundred students, you have answered correctly. Very nice. Okay. In chloroplast also there is formation of ATP, but they will not form the ATP by by using the energy from carbohydrate. In fact, they use the ATP to form the carbohydrate. The in chloroplast, the ATP is used. to form the carbohydrate but in case of mitochondrion the carbohydrate is used to form the atp there is a difference in mitochondrion atp is atp is formed in chloroplast also atp is formed in mitochondrion the process of atp formation is 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 substrate level phosphorylation by the process of krebs cycle and oxidative phosphorylation okay and those atp are ultimately obtained from sugar molecules carbohydrate but in case of chloroplast the atp is ultimately formed from the energy from the light okay and that atp will be used in the calvin cycle or dark phase to form the glucose molecule carbohydrate okay in ribosome uh, there is no formation of atp and in lysosome also there is no formation of atp okay so let's see the leaderboard then aditya shani okay Okay, fine, fine, fine. Very nice, Sukriti Beta. Very good, very good. Sabash, Sabash. Okay, Sabash. So let's see the next question then. Twenty-one number question. Mismatch, mismatch. Okay. Gas vacuole, green bacteria, large central vacuole, animal cells, protists, eukaryotes. methodogens prokaryotes
फिफ्टीन सेकेंड्स अब्दुल बेटा थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच ओके वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस एटी फोर स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव एंसर्ड करेक्टली ओके इन केस ऑफ एनिमल सर्स इफ देर इज वैक्यूल इफ देर इज सैव वैक्यूल दे आर स्मॉल इन नेचर एंड देर विल बी न्यूमरस एंड देर विल बी देर विल बी प्रेजेंट द पेरीफेरी ऑफ दिस सेल बट इन केस ऑफ plant cell in case of plant cell and mature plant cell all those small peripheral small vacuoles sap vacuoles they will fuse with each other to form a large central sap vacuole okay so in case of animal cells there will be no large central sap vacuole so this is mismatch okay this is mismatch okay and gas vacuoles they are present in photosynthetic prokaryotes okay so the uh, in uh, and uh, green uh, green bacteria is an example of what photosynthetic prokaryote so it will have gas vacuole and uh, the protist all the members of protist they have eukaryotic cells so they they belong to eukaryotes and methanogens they produce methane and they belong to the prokaryote okay they belong to archaebacteria which is a member of what which is a group of prokaryote so let's see who has answered fastest okay anyone new okay aditya okay very nice very nice very nice sabash sabash okay so let's see the next question then so here is your question number 22 only four questions left okay so play carefully a cell organelle containing hydrolytic enzymes organelles containing hydrolytic enzymes lysosome microsome ribosome mesosome Four, three, two, times up. Okay. See the organelle which contains hydrolytic enzymes. That is the lysosome. And apart from lysosome, in case in case of uh, in case of plant cells, some spirosomes, some spirosomes, they also may have they they may have hydrolytic enzymes. And that is why we call spirosome as plant lysosome. it is not necessary that every time the spirosome will have the uh, hydrolytic enzymes no but in some cases the spirosome also contains hydrolytic enzymes and that is why we call that as plant lysosome why because spirosome is found only in plants cells not in animals cells okay and what is spirosome spirosome is basically a micro body okay that is a micro body okay so the answer is a okay so see let's see this was very simple question right okay so who is the fastest to answer this question okay power okay very nice very nice very nice okay very nice so let's move to the next question then question number 23 only three questions left and the question is select the answer mitochondria chloroplast are semi autonomous organelles formed by the division of pre-existing organelles and they contain dna but lack protein synthesizing machinery which of now which which one of the following is correct a is true but b is false a is both a and b are false both a and b are correct b is true but a is false aditya okay okay aditya you are from arjuna okay very nice beta very nice sumat pande no 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 i don't speak well i don't i don't speak well actually i fumble a lot i know that but thank you for your compliment okay so see when i talk about mitochondria chloroplast they have they have dna and because they have dna they will undergo transcription to produce the rna molecules and and the rna molecules specifically the uh, the mrna will undergo translation to produce the proteins and the proteins will perform the various activities okay and 
and and let me tell you one important point that all the activities which are which are uh, occurring in the mitochondria or plastids they are controlled but they are controlled by the dna uh, of both mitochondria and plastid as well as the nucleus that means i will say some of the some of the some of the functions occurring in the mitochondria they are controlled by mitochondrial genes or mitochondrial dna and most of the functions they are controlled by nuclear dna likewise in case of chloroplast some of the functions are controlled by what controlled by the uh, chloroplast dna or plastid dna and some of the functions are controlled by nuclear dna and because and because both these organelles they are capable of controlling or performing some of its activity by by own by its own that is why we call these organelles as semi autonomous organ okay and why what is the reason i will say because of the presence of dna ribosome and the rna molecules okay so a is true but b is false why b is false because the statement b was saying that saying that protein synthesizing machinery is absent no in case of mitochondria and chloroplasts protein synthesizing machinery that is the ribosome is present ribosome is present okay that is why the b option was false okay now let's see the uh, leaderboard then okay hello okay hello 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 oh fine okay aditya you, uh, you you are the fastest to answer very nice okay uh, earthman apurva uh, hello and sukriti tushar darpan saurav harsh baghel shani okay you all are playing well so very nice keep on keep it up so now the question number 24 the second last question second last question okay so try to improve your marks score okay microtubules are constituent of or microtubules are part of what central spindle fiber chromatin centrosome nucleosome centriole cilia flagella and peroxisome and spindle fiber centriole and cilia 24 seconds 24 seconds okay danish joseph okay fine 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 so 38 students only 38 students you have answered correctly let me explain you centriole it has microtubule absolutely correct it has 9 plus 0 microtubule organization spindle fiber this has uh, this this is made up of what microtubule but chromatin is not made up of any kind of microtubule centrosome centrosome it will have centriole so it will have the microtubule nucleosome it does not have any kind of any kind of microtubule centriole it has the microtubule cilia flagella both they both of them they will have microtubule okay and what is the microtubule organization 9 plus 2 uh, 9 is doublet and 2 is 2, 2 are singlet microtubules peroxisome will not have any uh, microtubule spindle fibers centriole and cilia they will have microtubules okay so the answer is spindle fiber centriole and cilia So let's see. Let's check who was the fastest to answer. Okay, anybody new? No, only hello is the. Uh, you are the only one new. Okay, fine. So Aditya, okay, very nice, better, very nice, very nice. Okay, fine. Okay, so the next question. Let's see the next question then. This is. Which one of the following cell organelles is enclosed by single membrane? Organelle having one membrane, single membrane bound organelle. Lysosomes, nuclei, mitochondria, chloroplast. Twenty six seconds. Very simple question. Very simple question. Okay, Joy, you have to go to www. menti. com and you have to use the code eight zero eight zero three four seven nine. Okay, it is almost done. It is almost done. Times up. So ninety three students. You said 
lysosome very nice nuclei is nothing but the plural form of nucleus and nucleus will have two membranes mitochondria chloroplasts they also have two membranes okay the only three organelles which are double membrane bound they are nucleus mitochondria and plastid all the three plastids whether the plastid is chloroplast leucoplast or chromoplast does not matter everyone will have the two membranes okay so the answer is lysosome so let's see who was the fastest to answer Okay, so fine. Hello, very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, so Aditya Narayan, you Pradhan. Okay, you scored uh, very well. Two four zero three five. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, very nice. You are from Odisha. Okay, very nice. Okay, so all the other students who played this, uh, played this. I will congratulate you also. Why? Not because you won, you lost, but because you attempted. Okay. And many students they they because this is Sunday, so they 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 will they will be roaming and he, here and there. They will be watching movies. Okay. But you came here to participate, and that is why I will congratulate you. Okay. And because you participated, that means it is. I will. Uh, this is an indication or sign of your seriousness to towards your study. very nice very nice okay so thank you so much everyone thank you so much take care and we will meet in the next class okay next class cell cycle and cell division okay thank you take care bye